First and foremost, I would like to give all honor and praise and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakadash, and give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that's teaching the truth and sincerity on the four winds of the earth and to the hopeful elect scattered abroad amongst the four winds of the earth and to the confusion of faces, which is known as the speckled bird that's scattered abroad among the four winds of the earth. Shalom. And I'll make this lesson quick and straight to the point. You know, I, uh, the most I put the spirit upon me to, uh, it kind of um, um, inspired me. I, I watched the apostle, the elder from New York, uh, Gabar. And uh, I, I decided, well, not, well, I didn't decide that the most high put the spirit, but put the spirit upon me to do this video, you know. So, uh, to get straight to the point again, you know, these wicked devils, uh, Esau, Edom, uh, start with the elite over in Europe, the uh, eight of central bankers, uh, the Oppenheimers and the Gettys and the uh, Rothschilds. And, and the Rockefellers, and so on and so on, you know, trying to well push their wicked agenda, the New World Order, you know. So, you know, it, it, you know, I mean, you know, it pisses you off when you really think about the wickedness. Hey, these some wicked ass, they, they the so-called white man, the Edomite race, which is the damn devil that the Bible speak of. You know, and you're not talking about no spiritual demon Satan, but not to get off topic. Well, of course, you know, hey, you know, uh, I watched a few or I, I kind of jotted down a few uh, articles from from this wicked Maxine jail, you know, and, and I'm going to read a few of them and I'm going to uh, pull a few precepts in the end. But, you know, these, these, these wicked ass devils, you know, it pretty much like they they are pissed off because you know it's almost like you know the best way you can you can you can uh you can put it it's just like you sitting in front of uh well just say a person and you know you sitting out having a meal with them and 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 you happen to turn your head and look off and they you know pouring some poison in your iced tea or, or whatever you may be drinking. You know, you see like the little crossbows, well, well I like to scroll the crossbones on, but they putting poison in your drink. And they, they expect you to drink it. These damn wicked devils, man. They, they, hey, look, man. Hey, when the Most High Yahweh come back, we'll send his son, which is our big brother, Hamashiach. Well, hey, Yahweh shall Hamashiach. Hey, man, these devils gonna get exactly what they got hey, coming to them, man. It pisses me off, man, look. I, hey, look, man, my, hey, man, my temperature is, hey, through the roof right now. Okay, but enough rambling on. So I'm going to read a couple articles that these damn wicked ass, damn dragons, you damn free bag ass, dirty ass, nasty ass dogs. That's what y'all are. And y'all going to be treated just like the dogs y'all are, you know, but a dog is better than you. So I just use a dog because everybody like dogs. You goddamn dirty ass, free bag ass, dirty bag ass, nasty ass dogs. But here's what they doing is real. Okay, so I pulled up a few articles. Hey, it's gonna be quick, but it's just going to show you how wicked these damn dogs are. Okay. Uh okay, now look, a 45-year-old Italian doctor who had gotten the crown royal Maxine jail yeah, died of a heart attack. After playing tennis, but this was the but he look but he look now. This was a young Edomite doctor. You see, go to show you they they don't even give a damn about their own people. It's the wicked ass elite that's hiding their filthy ass over there in you. They don't even give a damn about their own people. I'm gonna read it again. A 45 year old Italian doctor who had gotten the crown royal jab, which is the Maxine, died of a heart attack after playing tennis. You see, but what they're gonna try to do is they're gonna they're gonna try to uh, 
Hey, look, they're going to do the same thing they normally do. They lie. Well, you know, uh, well, you know, it wasn't because of it. Uh, because of the Maxine jab, it's because he had this or he had that, or you know they're gonna make up some kind of some kind of wicked lie like they always do. But they they're gonna continue. Won't really. It's all about the twelve tribes of Israel and all the other nations and races or collateral damage. So this young man, which was an Edomite, hey, look. That's just how it is. And so let me uh, read this. Okay, I'm going to go to the Apocryphal Hidden Books, which is this same uh, book is in the 1611 King James Bible. Okay, so, so the 45-year-old Italian doctor, which was an Edomite, he took that Maxine jab. Hey, he gave up the ghost. So we're going to read, so I'm going to go to Ecclesiastes with Sirach, chapter 12, and verse 13. Who will pity a charmer that is bitten with, this, with a serpent, or any such come nigh a wild beast? So we can't pity, we can't pity the charmer because Mainly, this goes out to the House of Israel that consists of so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. The other uh, nations, hey, look, you on your own. You know, hey, the true men of the Lord, we just sent to blow the trumpet and warn the whole elect. You know? You know right? So this young man, he, you know, hey, look, he died. But they still want, want to... Uh, Push that wicked Maxine, the crown what crown raw jab, you know. Then and then they get pissed off if you don't want to take it. Then you have these wicked ass like old that damn freak punk old Tyler Perry, you know. He laying he laying in the bed with him, you know. And don't tell him what he got going on, you know. And then and then that damn uh, Bull Dyke, Oprah Winfrey, you know, leading our people. Straight for destruction, because they laying in the bed with the damn devil, you know. But it pisses it pisses me it pisses me off, you know. So, but they wanted to continue to push that wicked damn that wicked Maxine, okay. And this is going to be another uh, article, and this young lady. She's from Italy also. Her name was Miriam Gabriella Gotti, if I'm saying it right. G-O-D-O-Y. She was a 49-year-old female pharmacist from Italy, died six days after getting the Crown Royal Jail. You see that? But this is only for the hopeful elect. This is only for the hopeful elect. You see... How people are continually dying from this wicked jail or this crime roll of Maxine. But they want to continually push it. These wicked, you wicked ass, dirty ass, nasty ass, flea bag ass freaks. But you know what? You got a, a rude awakening waiting for you. You know, you got a rude awakening waiting for you. You ain't gonna believe it till it happens. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen, you dirty ass, nasty ass dogs. You got fleas and ticks all over you. But keep in mind, a dog is better than you. You filthy ass dog over there in Europe, you know, want to push your wicked agenda. You know, that damn RFID microchip. But it's gonna backfire your dirty, nasty ass face. You know. Yeah, so we had another uh, lady. Well, she was a heathen lady, but it goes to show you how these Edomites, they don't give a damn who they put to death. They just want to push their wicked agenda. That, that's what they want to do. They are the damn devil that the Bible speak of. The damn devil that the Bible speaks of, 
They want to push that wicked ass Maxine. Crown Raw 19. But oh, you dirty ass, filthy ass dogs. Y'all days are at hand. You understand that? Y'all days are at hand, you wicked ass Edomites. Get ready for captivity. Get ready for them chains. Hey, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, the Southern Kingdom, which would consist of the so-called Negro, which would be from the tribe of Judah, okay? Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. And Benjamin would be from the so-called Jamaicans. And Levi would be from the so-called Haitians. In the Northern Kingdom, Hey, the table by the turn. Y'all by the, you damn Edomites, you damn, especially you elite, you're going to be reserved just for, hey, you got something great waiting for you, you dirty ass, nasty ass dogs. Man, y'all make me sick. And you know what? Do Hey, make y'all move and do whatever y'all got to do because y'all ain't got long. Okay, so so enough rambling. So I'm gonna get get back to another article. It was his team. She took the Maxine, the Crown Royal Maxine jail, and she reacted violently after receiving the Crown Royal jail. I watched the video after she received that jail, man. It was like something you that that you was watching out of a movie. An exorcist movie. She was convulsing, flopping around like a fish out of water. Hey, man, you dirty ass, you dirty ass dog, man. We can't wait to get them chain around y'all neck. Hey, look, man. Hey, we, hey, look. I meditate terror on you, you damn dirty ass pieces of shit every day. Do it. Make y'all move and do what y'all got to do to the Hebrew Israelites. Cause we at look, the hopefully elected one third. We, we hey look, we're not African Americans. We're not Kemet. The two thirds are that. That's what they claim. Okay, we're not Muslims. Not the hopefully elect. We know who we are in the scriptures. Ain't gonna be a damn thing y'all can do to the to the hopefully elect, the house of David. So you can pull your move, make your move on the two thirds. They're claiming all these different uh, titles instead, you know, instead of them accepting who they are in the scriptures. So, you know, the two-thirds, they some damn dumbasses. But, you know, you know what? I, I'm not going to get off course on them because, hey, but you know what? Hey, look, because when I think about the two-thirds, they wicked as hell, and, and they going to they deserve what the most high act. Hey, look, it's going to allow these heathens to bring up on them, and they deserve every bit of it. So I'm not going to get off course. So I'm going to keep on rolling. But, you know, yeah, man, hey, look, hey, this little teenager, man, she she looked like she was Moab. But, you know, hey, you know, I can't feel sorry for Moab because they had us in captivity, you know, you know as well. So, hey, but all you different nations that laid, laid, laid in the bed with Esau Edom, you know, you know uh, gobbling down his philosophies, you know, and drinking that wine that he forced down y'all's throat. All his different, all his different hey, philosophies and, uh, hey, now y'all got to deal with it. You know, so we can't feel sorry for y'all who appeared to chum, you know. So uh, we're going to go to the, to, but well, look, the Proverbs. It's going to be chapter 14 and verse 16. A wise man feareth and depart from evil, but a fool rage and is comforted. I'm going to read that again. Proverbs chapter 14 and verse 16. A wise man feareth. Wise man. The whole feeling. We fear. We understand what Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai do. We fear the Most High. Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. A wise man feareth 
we turn back to the Most High, law, statutes, commandments, the best of our ability. So we understand that the Most High is causing all these pleas, and, and He used the Edomites for a whooping stick to to uh, to punish all these nations, and especially the house of Israel, which is the two thirds. So they're gonna get caught up in it. So we fear it. So we know where the evil is coming from. We understand that, that the most high he killed, he make a lie. Okay? And they fool the party and departed from evil. Let oh, me start over. Proverbs 14 and 16. A wise man fear it and depart from evil. So hopefully let we depart from evil. Okay? But a fool rage it and is confident. So and the fool raises it and the confidence. So it goes right back to the 45 year old Italian doctor. Okay? So he so he took the jail. And then you go back to Miriam, Gabriella, Godly. And then you have this teenager that she passed away. You see? So we feared it. Hey, these Edomites, man, they go back to the central bankers. Pushing a new world order. Man, the so called white man is a damn devil the Bible speak of. And, and our people that put their trust in them and run and run and run up to Egypt, uh, pursuant to uh was Isaiah 30, 30, 31. Isaiah 30, Okay. So I'm gonna go to Proverbs. 22 and verse 3. Keep in mind, it goes back to these same uh, name, names that I just called out from the Italian doctor, 45 year old Italian doctor, and Miriam Gabriella, and this other little young uh, Moel, uh, which would be a, what, by Japanese, okay? So we're going to go to Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. A prudent man foresee the evil and hide himself, but the simple pass on and are perished. That's a lot. Can read it again? Proverbs chapter 22, verse 3. A prudent man foresee the evil and hide him. That's a lot. A and hide himself. Who's the prudent man? The whole field elect again. The one through the whole elect. A the house of David. You know, we hide ourselves from evil because we hide behind but he looked the most high. So he gonna he going to uh he he well he's going to reveal all his secrets. Like he go back to what is it is it Amos what uh, three and seven? How, how he revealed his thing with the paraphrasing. Through well he well he he revealed his secret thing through his serving the prophets. So so we had it. How did ourselves? Well, we oh, let me start over. Okay, Proverbs twenty-two and verse three: A prudent man foresee the evil and hide himself. So we had ourselves because we hid behind the Most High. How about some other shot? But it's simple: pass on and are punished. So these heathens, they were punished. You know, they were punished. So there was there was the judgment of the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right. So like I said, just hey, look, it's just a quick lesson. You know, the most I put it upon my spirit to uh, bring this class out. You know, some something fast. You know, and uh, so the simple they going to perish because they believe every word. You know, instead of digging and, and learning it and trying to find out what's going on and do and do and doing that type of research, they hey, look, they they lean on this fake news and. You know, being caught up in all this madness and foolery that's going on instead of, you know, uh, trying to research and find out for yourself. But but mainly, I'm, I'm speaking to a hey, to the house of Israel. Hey, you heathens, you don't matter. You don't matter. It, it's all about the whole feeling. Okay? So, uh, and, uh, and their main purpose, through their propaganda machine, you know, that little deal that happened on Capitol Hill, you know, 
it was all the setup. So it's it pretty much uh, leading it to so they can put in their put in their draconian laws, really to uh, to stop the men of the Lord from from preaching on the highways and the byways and the hedges and the gaps, from by by revealing who they who they really are. So these white supremacists that they I mean it was all set up that was happening in Capitol Hill. It was just so they could just so the elite can use, can make their uh, draconian laws, laws so, uh, so they can uh, go in and write their bills just so they can stop stop the most high prophets and teachers scattered abroad on the four winds of the earth starving, starving great millstone. That, that's what it's all about. It's not about the white supremacy because this country, that's what they was built on, the United States of America. Hey, hey there were no more than high... But well, it looked hired actors. It was just to get to the Hebrew Israelites, the true prophets of the Lord, Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh Shai, they're teaching the true doctrine. And y'all soon about to find out real soon. Okay? So we're going to go to the book of Isaiah. So it's all about. Putting the prophets to death, throwing us in prison, or whatever they may have, well, or whatever the Most High may have for our lot, you know. So let me see here. Could it be going to the book of Isaiah? We're going to go. Uh, Isaiah chapter 50, 59 and verse 19. And keep in mind, this is for you wicked ass elite that's hiding over there, you dirt ass dogs, flea bags, dirt bags. Isaiah 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the west? And his glory from the rise of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. So let's go back. It, 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 so this goes back to that to when they had those actors to go in the Capitol Hill. So they can stage their uh, so they can put in their draconian laws. Really, it, it was meant to to harm the uh, the prophets of the Most High, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, that are back here on the earth today preaching the same gospel as in the days of old in the reincarnation. So it really meant to put us to death and to throw us in jail, but the Most High, he gonna lift up the standard. So whatever you wicked ass devil is gonna try to do, you better do it because it's not gonna work. What you don't understand is the Most High, it, 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 he's in control. You know, pursuant to uh, Proverbs 20 and 24, a man going of the Lord. Roughly paraphrasing, so who should know his own way? So the Most High, he's allowing you to do what you're doing. You're making the move. You ain't doing nothing that you think you're doing on your own, you wicked-ass, dirty-ass, nasty-ass dogs, flea-bag-ass dogs. Y'all ain't doing that. The Most High doing it. But he's going to lift up a standard because, you know, that's when the, the whole elected house of David, the Most High, you how about Shemiah was shy, going to have the mighty angels are camped around about us. Lord willing, if I'm one of those men. Okay? And and, and giving our spiritual powers. So, so he's going to lift up a standard. Ain't going to be a damn thing y'all dirty asses can do. The only thing that, that y'all going to be able to do is get ready for them damn chains. And y'all make me sick, you dirty ass shit bags. Ain't going to be a damn thing y'all can do. Like it say in the book of Malachi 1 and 14, the most high Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai name is dreadful among the heathens. He y'all about to get ready. Hey, look, you about to get a chance to meet him real soon. You about to get a chance to read him real soon. Meet him real soon. And you two thirds of the house of Israel, y'all about to get a chance to meet him too. Especially you damn dumb asses. 
You know what? I, I ain't gonna get off course. It's gonna be another lesson. But the most high name, Yahweh. But Hashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh. Yah is he. How he is, he exists. And y'all about to meet his son. Yahweh Shahamashiach, who the world eagerly called Jesus Christ. Yah is he. How shall he delivers? He saves the whole elect, the house of David. And you two thirds, you'll be left behind. It's going to be a great day. A great day. Y'all, everybody about to find out. Everybody about to find out. And then look, y'all going to see that we ain't no quacks, and we ain't no lunatics or crazy after the end when that day coming. It's fast and approaching, fast as you can even that you can even imagine. Faster than you can even imagine. But you know it go back to these damn wicked elites. You damn wicked elites. Okay? Wicked elite. So we still, we still, uh, we still on your next, you wicked elite. You better do what you gotta do. Cause you ain't, you ain't got long. You soon to be in chains. You soon to be in chains, you dirty ass dog. The dog are better than you. Cause, cause you, cause you a scumbag. You a dirt bag. You a free bag ass, nasty ass dog. You dirty ass, nasty ass, free bag ass dog. So we're going to go to Isaiah, chapter 33, verse 22. I'm going to start at 30. Oh, okay, 33. Oh, hold on. Where my eyes are? 33. Maybe somebody looked at it wrong. You know what? Uh, excuse me, Israel Slaki. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. So it's uh, Isaiah 33. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, here's what we're looking for. So let's go back to your wicked elite. This is for you. It's for you, baby. You damn red dragons. You damn eagles that the Bible speak of. You damn dirty-ass, nasty-ass dogs. This for you. Isaiah 34. Okay, it's like you. Isaiah 34. I'm going to start at verse 3. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stink shall come up out of the carcass, out of their carcass. And the mountains shall be melted with their blood. That's when those ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles is heading this way in Babylon the Great, aka United States of America. Now you wicked elite. Now here you know. So here's the thing. I'm going to read this verse again because because it's just for you. And then and then, and then I'm going to keep on rolling. Their slain also shall cast out. Okay, it's a, it's a lock here. The slain also shall be cast out. And this thing shall come up out of out of their carcasses, and the mountain shall be melted with their blood. So after this nuclear destruction, guess who's gonna be guess who's gonna be the undertaker and the scavengers? Going around burying the dead bodies. It's gonna be you. You ain't used to getting your hands dirty. That's why it's gonna be so hard on you. They're gonna be your job. You ever heard of trading places? I know you heard because y'all dirty nasty asses, the one that made the movie, try to make a mockery out of the house of Israel. So you know what's going on, but you're going to be actually doing it. That's going to be your job, y'all job, you dirty nasty ass shit bags. Okay? And all the hosts of heaven shall be dissolved. Host of heaven. Okay, so this is y'all rulership. Okay? Uh, you know, y'all hiding, you sent your bankers hiding over there in Europe, but the United States of America is a corporation, okay? So this is y'all rulership, so it's going to be melted by the ICBM Intercontinental Ballistic Missiles. 
and shall be rolled together at this scroll. That's the mushroom cloud. And all their hosts shall fall down as the leaf falleth from the vine and as fallen okay, so like you, and as a fallen fig from a tree. It could be just like you shaking a fig, a fig tree when they when the figs ripe. Y'all coming down to the ground. Falling, hey, look, get ready to eat some dust. Okay? Now verse 5. Basra. This is another ancient name of you damn Edomites, the so-called white man. This is what y'all got to look forward to since y'all want to push that wicked Maxine. You know, and thinking that you're going to get a chance to fill your belly with the RFID chip. It ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen, you damn wicked-ass dragons. You damn eagles. You wicked-ass, dirty-ass dogs. For my sword shall be bathed in heaven. How the sword going to bathe in heaven? The ICBM entered the continental ballistic missile. It, it's going to be bathed in y'all rulership. In y'all heaven. Behold, it shall come down upon Idumia. It shall, it shall come down upon who? It shall come down upon Idumia, the so-called white man. Blood showed forth through his skin. You ain't white. You red. Different shades of red. And upon all the people of my curse to judgment. Who are all the people of his curse to judgment? The so-called white man is a curse. You are Cain. Back on the earth today. The most high put the, hey look, the mark of Cain upon you. He took your pigmentation, your pigment from you. And now you are a so-called white man. You're not white. That's the curse, the, Cain, the, the curse of Cain. Ain't no pigment, no pigmentation and no metal in your skin. That's how we know who you are through the scriptures. You are a curse. Verse 6. And the sword of the law is filled with blood. How is it filled with blood? They're going to put, hey, look, the most high you howl by Shimmy I was shy. He coming for a great slaughter for you so-called white man. You know, especially you damn dirty dogs hiding over there in Europe, you central elite bankers. You dirty ass dog. We can't wait to get them chained around y'all filthy ass necks. It made fat with fatness. Y'all gonna be a great sacrifice. Slaughtering the most high uh, chosen people. Consists of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and natives. Now you finna be a great sacrifice. You don't believe it, but you're going to find out real soon. You're going to know when them chains actually be around your neck. It's made with fatness and with the blood of lambs and goats and the fat of kidneys and rams. And the Lord had a sacrifice in Basra, a great slaughter in the land of Idumia. That's what you got looking. Hey, look, that's what you got coming to you. So what, make your move upon us now and do what you got to do. But the Most High, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, that's his will. Ain't nothing you doing. The Most High is about to purge out two-thirds of our people. All these different plagues that the Most High is putting up on his place like he did in ancient Egypt. That's who doing this. It ain't got nothing to do with you, you Edomites, you, you central bankers. It, it ain't looking your lower level Edomites. Ain't got nothing to do with you. It's the most high dude. Hey, look, I said, wait, look, Isaiah 45 and 7. Roughly paraphrasing. I formed the light. You know what? Let me grab it. Because I don't want to butcher it. I don't want to butcher it. I ain't making this up. I ain't just making this up. The most high, you how about showing me how it's shot? Ain't nothing that y'all doing. Isaiah 45 and 7. I'll form the light and I'll create darkness. I'll make peace and I'll create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. You dirty ass, flea bag ass dog. Ain't got nothing to do with you. You ain't doing this. The Mahai said he got you in a trick bag. And y'all time is almost up. It's almost up. So these devils trying to come down. You know, they're pushing their wicked agenda. They wicked agenda. They, ain't got, they don't have anything to do with them. It's going to be quick. I'm almost done. And that's why they're trying to push their damn 
wicked Maxine, Maxine Nightingale. That's what they doing. And you know what? Y'all getting real sloppy. Y'all desperate. You wicked elite. Y'all desperate. Revelation 12 and 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein. Woe unto the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he only had a short time left. A short time. So the devil is not spiritual demon Satan. The devil is being deceived. It go back to the Garden of Eden in Genesis, in the book of Genesis. The way he deceived Eve, John 3 and 1. But he is the deceiver. That's all the devil means, is to deceive. And he pushing his wickedness. He pushing his wicked Maxine. Okay? It's all setting up, leading up for the, for the RFID microchip in the all be all. He want to take the, the, the house of Israel, the house of David, into a perpetual slavery. But he's going to be in for a rude awakening. Because your how will buy Shem Howard Shai if he's to come back and put his foot on his neck. They have no idea what they're up against. You know, UFOs being, being sighted all over the world. But you know what? There's no UFOs. Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, Michael the Archangel, Raphael the Archangel, Gabriel and Uriel, the Most High Yahweh. He getting them all lined up together. So what y'all seeing scattered abroad in the four corners of the earth is the angels of the Most High they traveling in the vehicles which were called, ignorant called UFOs. Y'all will be dismayed in what's about to happen. Y'all first go into the perpetual chains. And for you wicked elite, we're going to close it with this. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. And this, and this for you, you wicked, you wicked elite. Do what you got to do, make you move now. You know, but it's going to be over hey, for you forever and ever and ever. If any man have an ear, let him hear. This your destiny. This your destiny. You wicked ass, dirty ass, free bag ass dogs. You got fleas on you, ticks on you. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that lead into captivity shall go into captivity. He that kill him with his sword must be killed with his sword. And here is the patient in the faith of the saints. So we wait patiently in faith. And, and believe exactly what you how by show me how shall I say you gonna do. The only thing you got waiting for you, Second Andrew 69. Your world is, is hey, look, your rulership is over with. You holding on by, hey, look, you hold on by ass hair. I, I won't even say a thread because the ass had weak. You dirty ass, nasty ass dogs. But you know what? Your days at hand. So I would like to give all praise and honor to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem and Kakadash, and give double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that's teaching the truth and pushing the truth on the four winds of the earth at the one third whole free leg. And it's a look in the confusion of faces. Known as the speck of bird, scattered among the four winds of the earth. They don't know who you, they don't know you, Hebrew Israelites. Okay? So until next time, Lord willing, shall the